All right, I am sitting here with our 2018 Dell Technologies Hall of Fame Open champion, Stevie Johnson. Stevie, thanks for being here with yeah, us. Of course, glad to be here. Take us back to the final today. Ram Kumar did not hand it to you. He got that second set. How did you change the momentum in the third? Oh uh, yeah, you know, you don't expect anybody to hand it to you. So uh, I was just glad to go out there in the third set after he battled back in the second to uh, get an early break. Yeah. It kind of calms the nerves, and um, you know, when you got one set left for, for a title, you, you definitely want to get out. Uh, you definitely want to be a, a front runner in that case. How tough is it to play against a guy who does a lot of serve and volleying on a surface as unpredictable as the grass? I mean, he knows uh, how to play here. I mean, I've watched him play all week. He's played very smart on this surface, and um, just lucky to get a few returns down and hit a couple good passing shots again today. We talked a little bit about your coach, Craig Boynton, earlier this week. How is it to have him, no wife here this week, how is it to have just you and your coach, and it clearly worked out well for you? It was great. You know, we just, you know, you know, went about it with the X's and O's in the tennis, and we just, you know, when we were here, we, we focused on what we needed to do to, to, you know, be in this situation at the end of the week, and, you know, we enjoyed the city of Newport, of course, you know, walking down by the water every night to have dinner, and uh, it's just a great, easy place and, and a really enjoyable place to come. Two titles now in the last three months. It was a slower start to the year for you, so what's clicking now? Um, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, have a little bit more fun, not put pressure on myself, just, you know, enjoy tennis for the tennis and, you know, really, you know, embrace the, the ups and the downs and just remember that it's, uh, it, it is a game and we're very fortunate to be doing this. Over the course of a tournament, what specifically do you do for fun? Um, just relax, you know, we, you know, play a lot of cards if there's, you know, any types of delays or we have, you know, time off or, you know, you're just around, you know, your, your buddies and your friends, you know, you're, you're not home enough uh, to kind of have, you know, a huge group of friends back at home. So most of our friends are kind of on the road with us and um, it's just a, it's a great place to just sit back and relax. We talked a little bit about your facial hair earlier this week. We're going to come back to it. At, it's at the end of the tournament. You said you share facial hair with your coach, mustache, mustache. At this point, is it now a good luck mustache, and will we continue to see it throughout the U.S. Open Series uh, this summer? Have, you'll have to, you know, stick around and find out. I can't give away any, uh, you know, secrets to our success. So, who knows uh, what will happen when I show up in D.C. So, um, I guess we'll have to wait and find out. We'll have to wait and find out. And finally, I assume you've gotten to talk to your wife, Kendall. What was her reaction? I haven't quite gotten around to it. I haven't uh, looked at my phone, so uh, she'll be the first, uh, first person I... I go call on my walk back to the hotel and, uh, you know, so, uh, you know, kind of just put the phone away when you're doing all these uh, post-match things, but I, I know she's, uh, she's, I'm hoping she's proud and happy and uh, get a chance to come home. We'll celebrate tomorrow. Well, we too are proud and happy for you, Stevie. We hope to see you next year. Glad to be here.